If I get them confused, sorry. Hernandez, Toronto, against Mazza, Red Sox. He's $4,300. I'm stacking Blue Jays. He's on an eight-game hitting streak with a 346 average. That's right, 346 average over that eight-game stretch. In that period, a 21% walk rate and a 31% barrel rate and a 56% hard hit rate. I guess another way of saying it is T. Oscar Hernandez is smoking the ball right now. And you need to put him in your daily lineup at $4,300, which is another reason why I'm saying go with these cheaper pitchers. Go with the Luis Garcia at second base. Load up on Nelson Cruz. Load up on Teoscar Hernandez. That's $10,000 of your budget in those two players. So let's go with a cheaper player. Manny Margot for Tampa Bay against the Orioles. Rays right-handed bats tonight. Power play, baby. You hear me? Now, Renfro is a cheap option, but don't forget Margot, too. Hunter Renfro is a cheap option, and Margot. Why not both? He's not striking out much. He's got a 12% barrel rate, a 41% hard hit rate over his last seven games. Last year, he hit 333 versus left-handers. Now, of course, there are other players. There's... Juan Soto against Philadelphia and Spencer Howard, $5,900. Can't go wrong there. Austin Meadows against Baltimore. Robbie Grossman against Texas. Lord Scurriel against Boston. He's, I think, uh, $4,000. Randall Grychik for Toronto, $3,900. I mentioned Hunter Renfro, he's at $3,800. Piscotti's at $3,500. Now, Victor Reyes for Detroit's at 2,900. And against Dobnak, not a bad pick for today. He's leading off most games. Victor Reyes is for Detroit. So there are a lot of good options. And as I'm stacking up today, I've already mentioned a couple. I'm stacking Toronto Blue Jays against Red Sox and Chris Mazza, a left-handed pitcher. So look for Toronto Blue Jays right-handed bats. Guriel, T. Oscar, Minnesota Twins at Detroit. Right-handed bats. I've already mentioned a few. In fact, it's not bad to go for any bats against Matt Boyd these days. Tampa Bay Rays against Orioles. Tampa Bay right-handers particularly, and Austin Meadows, although he's left-handed bat, hits left-handers really well. And a sneaky stack, if you want a sneaky one, go with those Detroit Tigers today. Against Randy Dobnek. As I said, the regression monster uh, is about to attack uh, Ryan D. Dobnak. So keep your eye on those Detroit Tigers as you plan for your DFS lineups. How about this? Trying to be a little different, give you a little different look. Players to look for today. Big schedule. Let's just go over it real quick. A lot of double headers. I mean, a lot of double headers. So we start off today, let's see if I can get this right. We start off today with the Mariners and Padres playing a doubleheader at Petco in San Diego. That starts at 3.10 p.m. That's your first game today. Second game to follow shortly thereafter. And then we got a doubleheader, Pittsburgh and St. Louis. At Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Mo, 3.15 p.m., cool for Pittsburgh Kim for St. Louis in game one, second game to follow soon thereafter. The Dodgers play a doubleheader at Oracle Park in San Francisco against the Giants, starting at 4.05 p.m. Walker, Bueller, and Webb, a second game to follow. Wow. There are three doubleheaders already. We're not done. Reds and Brewers, doubleheader. First game starts at 5.10 p.m. Miller Park in Milwaukee. Look for some runs to be scored, especially in this first game with Wade Miley and Lindblom going. That could be a massive run-scoring game. Might should have stacked some Reds and Brewers. Rockies play the D-backs at 6-10. Freeland and Gallon could be a great pitching match. And just as soon as you say that, it's a 9-8 game, right? That's baseball. Athletics and Rangers, 637. Bassett and Lyles. Red Sox, Blue Jays, Mazza and Ryu at 637. Also at 637, 
Phillies at Nats at Nationals Park in Washington. Look for Bit Mad Max Scherzer to have a great game today, Linwood Price. I think he's going to be awesome today against the Phillies. Now, a player for the Phillies who's been heating up lately, I'll just digress here for a moment. Their first baseman, who has struggled mightily up until about a week ago, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins' average now is up to 229. That is not great, but it's way better than the sub-200 average he had. And over his last five games, where he's had 19 at-bats, he's had six hits, so he's hit over 300 in that span, with two home runs, three RBIs, six runs scored, and a stolen base. So Hoskins, and we know He's one of the streakiest of the streaks. Is worth you keeping your eye on. Orioles and Rays, they throw the first pitch in that one at 640. Means in Yarborough from Tropicana Field in Tampa, Florida. The Twins and Tigers, Dobnek and Boyd, that's going to be some runs scored. 7.10 p.m. And then finally, the Marlins and Mets, 7.10 p.m. from City Field in Flushing, New York. And Sixto Sanchez, rookie pitcher for the Miami Marlins, will be starting tonight there. So there are no late games tonight. The last starting game for a single event is 7-10. I guess probably that Dodger-Giant game, the second game probably starts around 8 o'clock. Just something in that area, 8.30. But their first game's at 4.05. So that's a look at today's activity. Thank you for being with me. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have because I've had a great time. And I look to see you some more. How about next week? Next Tuesday. I'm sorry I could not be with you Tuesday night. I had something come up with my job and I just was tied up and couldn't make it. But I'll be back Monday morning. Uh, we got a lot of trade deadline. There might be a lot of trade activity over the weekend. I may do an extra show just to talk about that. We'll see. But Monday morning, I'll be back with you at 10 a.m here on LennyMalnickFantasySports.com, the network of all networks. I mean, how often can you get the podcasters that we have on this network all together at one time? I mean, come on. Phil Chaplin, Lenny Melnick, Andre Lamont, I, Kevin Hasty. it goes on. And don't forget Wednesday nights. The show the guys do on Wednesday nights, King Hat and Taco, George on the weekends, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving people out. Paulie, great job everyone does. And what a mixture of personalities and talents that Lenny's put together here. And I'm just thankful I can tag along. You know what I mean? So it's great to be with you today. Everybody, here's what I want you to do. Watch a lot of baseball today. Have a great Thursday. And I'll see you back on Monday, if not before. How about that?